Yeah. So yeah, man. You don't. So you don't mind the smoke, right? No, no, we good. We good. So, um, so yes, the Kevin Samuels is a trip. I came up on Kevin Samuels because I was watching a new network called the Beat Network, and mm-hmm. they had a lot of Kevin Samuels content going on. Yeah, and they had him on. But when it came to him, like having certain records, this motherfucker would play pop. This motherfucker will play like, of course, his jazzy shit. He right, play, right. He'll play some UGK. I mean, just his level. Like, this motherfucker likes some hard. Like, would you say that kind of people who think in that realm we like hard shit? We like shit that's like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. man, man, too. Right. Would you say that's different from now? Like, would you say the artist from now and then? Yeah. It's, it's a little different. How different? I mean, People do like hard shit. It's it, I think today is extreme. You know what I'm saying? Today is extreme. Like Whatever, like so was, if we on some street shit, it's not we we really telling the stories of the street. We telling the extreme crazy shit of the streets. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like, oh yeah. Somebody here, you have to say. Oh, oh right now. All right. You too. Yeah, okay, I gotta do them go after hours. Right. The strippers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you hear the, the oh, I'm just killing shit. Right. You look at the little video, it's a thousand yeah. guns in the video. That's what I'm saying. It's a little extreme yeah. with some of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like right. what was the difference between what Pop was doing? You had you had more you had more storytelling. You had more of the artsy people. It was more of an art. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I look at storytelling just as an art form, period. You know, like, Pac to me, Pac to me wasn't even a rapper. Pac was something else. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to call him a poet. Like you know, it was just yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say too. Pac was someone, a was a energy. Was a right, right, right. I had someone tell me too. They was like, you know, Pac wasn't a he, he wasn't a rapper. He wasn't a lyricist. He was just a realist. He just said what yeah. was on his mind, and he made it rhyme. He made it make to yeah. It was yeah. It was different. Like when you hear like shed so many tears, like records like that. That's like some different shit. Cause Pac. Wasn't really like intricate with with words. It, it was really raw. It was when you listen to it, it was like oh, if you break the if you was to read people his said, lyrics. People, said Pac had a fifth leg. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I've heard people talk that bullshit, but said okay. How? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I know. it's it's really what what did he say? So I've heard a gang of motherfuckers that that say all this crazy can can say every word in the dictionary, sound like a thesaurus rapping, but ain't said shit. Said absolutely nothing. Well, who would you? I mean, I ain't trying. Well, who would you say? Okay, for me, I say rappers who sound like that. Rappers who rap like that to me would be like. Yeah, Eminem, and I'm a big Eminem fan, but uh, mm. Eminem kind of Eminem kind of has that like cathartic ass like yeah. flow in the sense where you know huh. the element of irrelevant. It's just celebrate. It's it's just you to celebrate. And then I was right, right. And my yeah. Room, you know, I think I mean? Eminem is the best rhymer ever. Rhymer ever, not the best rapper ever. Cause you got those like you had those like backpack rappers. Okay, so you yeah. talk about your Lupe. Yeah. Even though Lupe can, <laughs> Lupe has a mind though. Like sometimes, you know, you uh, everybody may not get it, but if you you really listening, he's actually saying something. But sometimes it's like, damn man, this shit is deep. I, I can't even think of one right now. Just to be honest, I can't. I can. I can't because I've listened to so many different rappers from not just mainstream. So you know what I'm saying, coming up in eras or just circles where people was rap rap battling you know 
different things. Some of these dudes are underground. Some of these dudes was just come upcoming rappers that they thought that they were actually dope because they said a gang of difficult shit. But you not saying absolutely nothing. That like when you bring up Eminem, I like the crazy Eminem. Okay. okay. I like the the crazy okay. Eminem. I guess because I'm thinking of the now Eminem because I grew up with listening to Eminem. Yeah. So I would say kind of like the now Eminem gives me that like it's a bunch of right right i yeah i haven't really yeah like when he, eminem turned like, me off a while ago he, he, okay, okay. yeah so i was just he like man damn nigga, what happened to crazy m but you know everybody grow up would you say some of your records kind of change in that form where you have certain supporters and or fans that like you know what I'm really I like this shit like some of your past yeah. this shit rather than your new shit. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't like it because like you you looked at you're looking at the young version of me. You're looking at the dude that that didn't have it together. You're looking at the dude that wasn't mature. You know what I'm saying? That wasn't talking about shit. You was looking at the dude at the time that that was following the older dudes around me that was game banging that was doing all this other shit and I I wanted to be like them, but I wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't like them. I was doing some shit. I was outside of my lane. Like, you know, when I got in my lane, that's when I start really just speaking my truth and just telling some shit that may have been true, but it wasn't mine. You know what I'm saying? And I've had, I've, I've turned down record deals. I've turned down record deals. No, I, I'm, well, I ain't gonna say I, I've turned down. I did, I turned down no, a no. couple. No, 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 no. I turned down a couple, this is good. This but is there good. was a few that didn't want to fuck with me. There was okay. more that didn't want to fuck with me. Okay, so let's compartmentalize this, all right? So you got the labels that wanted to fuck with you, and then you got the labels that didn't want to fuck with you. Right? All because of an interview. It was all, it was pretty much the same shit. That's why I said it like that to start. I had to like break it up, like, okay, yeah. Some, some wanted to fuck with me based on what I said in the interview made them not want to fuck with me. I was young, though. I was young. I think the best thing that happened to me is that I didn't sign to these motherfuckers because I wasn't ready for that shit. I wasn't business savvy. Mm -hmm. I would have got ate up. Speak, speak, speak. There you go. I would have got ate up. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I think I would have lost my family, everything. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready for that shit. That was the best thing that happened to me. Was that hey? They didn't fuck with me, but the thing was, I always stood on my square. I'm like, dude, I love music. Like I said, I started as a drummer. I love music. So when they were like, hey, man, we want you to make this type of music. Just sell the fantasy. I have said, man, if I can't describe it, I don't want to tell it. Okay, I so, can't. So, so this is good conversation. I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to say like. Like I'm pushing back, or I'm gonna push back. But I'm gonna give a little friction, right? All right. So I fucks with the 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 unknowing of what the possibilities can be. Right, right. At the end of the day, it's kind of like, what's the worst gonna happen? I get a deal. I sign this motherfucker. These motherfuckers. Oh my. Right, shit. right, right. They tell me to hey, do this, do that. And then I do it, I become this fucking huge act or whatever. And then now I can kind of do my own thing. Right. I, got, I kind of, in a sense, I kind of fuck with that because you're able to get what you want. Yeah, yeah. Right? But then again, I understand how fast you be like, well, shit, if I get in there, I'll never be able to leave. Right? I'll never right. be able to leave that world because everybody yeah. gonna know me for that. Yeah. Right? But no, I feel you. I'm, I'm, I'm like, why not? Why not take the chance? Because I'm like the... I was like the rap version of Heath Ledger. Mm. I didn't care for That's the fame. Deep. I don't. I just love the art. I didn't want the bullshit. <laughs> I wanted. I wanted to. I wanted to take care of my family by rapping. To say that, like the Heath Ledger of rap, the Heath Ledger of rap. It's like you're right. Mm. He didn't want to be seen. He wanted to just do his craft. He wanted to just be himself and still be able to go hang out with his kids. But that's 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 impossible. It's impossible. I was about to yeah, you, you took the words I mean? right out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah. It's because impossible. You a superstar. Yeah, you you great, you a monster at this shit. You know what I'm you saying? So yeah. Like, if I'm like yeah. this is 
this is the Jay Z of this yeah. is the guy. Like, yeah, and I was I was I getting that type of you know, people was looking at me, comparing me to some monsters, and I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Brody, do you understand like sometimes I tell artists too, but sometimes you are bigger than than the people around you. And it scares us too because we don't want to like hey that's another thing though. That's another thing. That's one of my flaws. That's one of the things like I could show you my phone right now. Look. Look what it say, like on my thing, like focus on self. That's what it, it says. Focus on self. Yes. Yes. But yeah, you see focus at the top, but underneath that right. it says on self. See? There you see self right there. It says focus on self. See. Because my team, now I got a solid team, but the thing is, I'm the guy that 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 kind of I'm like the engine of the team. Mm. I make everything go. Mm. But so when they start, they start, you know, they get they get there and they like, oh, I'm on it, I'm on it, man. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. That's all I want. It's for us to get it popping as a team, but it's not consistent. I've been consistent. So this is on my phone to remind me to focus on myself because that's the only way I can help my team. I performed a song tonight that said, you better get yours because I'm going to get mine, right? How can I help you if I don't help myself? If I don't got my shit together, I can't help nobody. So if that was the thing, I want, I wanted so much for us to just move as a team, but everybody don't got the same drive as I got. Everybody don't got the same love and passion for this shit that I got. They got the talent. They don't got the love and the passion for it that I got. So every time I got the call, like, oh, man, I, mean, I got this idea. Woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, well, let's go. Let's pick out the beats. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And I end up setting myself back six fucking months because what happens? I'm waiting on these niggas. And how can I keep myself focused and five other grown niggas focused at the same time? It's damn near impossible. So I got to focus on me so I can maybe help you. So that deal probably wouldn't be bad to, you know? Yeah, right, <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> right. It I'm wouldn't fucking, have been bad. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, no, 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 but, right. But at the time, I wasn't in the right headspace. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I had a kid at 19 years old. You know what I'm saying? So I was dealing with that. Like, okay, I mean, I'm a dad. I'm a dad. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, hey, like I talk that shit how I talk. Like, you know, like you mentioned the Kevin Sam shit. I, I talk that shit, but I'm a nigga that been with the same girls since I was 15 years old. <laughs> yeah. So when I talk it, I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, so That's my wife. So I feel this. I'm 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 kind of a guy like this. Why not sell that? I do. Why not sell sell the fact that I am this guy? Because you do. I'm saying you do. Yeah. But I'm saying like why cats don't do that? Like they. I don't know why they don't I, do I, it. I, I don't mean to use you as the right. scapegoat for that. But nah. Why? Why cats don't sell who they are and black that? And yeah. Because like, yeah, yeah. like, you can really talk about that. You can really talk about that. So like in the sense of where you're like, you know, when motherfuckers like, I have the life, I have the kids, I got kids, I got this and what, boom, boom. That's not becoming a trend, okay. right? Until yeah. somebody breaks the fucking mold. Okay, Kanye did it. No. He did it? How? Weird. Okay, think about it like this. You saw the documentary, right? everybody was closing doors on that boy right okay who you know why because he wasn't talking about shooting shit he wasn't talking that 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 rough rider rockefeller uh, state property he wasn't yeah, talking he also that. wasn't talking about that he's been with the same chick since he was 15. no but, he, you know what I mean? like, but it's just the truth that's all i'm saying okay. Okay. okay he spoke 
he made a song about what was that spaceship record? Talk about being on the in a grave shift. Talking about fucking this. I'm gonna assault my manager. He talked to the everyday person. So if we have like okay, so we have <clears throat> Kanye would be like kind of the escape road for that type of rap. Right? Huh. I well I fit scared in that. I'm because I I do speak the truth. I speak right. I speak the truth, and I do talk to the everyday person. I think that you have to be relatable. But I mean, I'm, that one record, the one record I was telling you about, that's like the about the woman and without like, how, why would I? What's the what's the hook? So why should a nigga put his time in? Right, right. If right. I could just hit you up and slide in. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. Why? Why okay, would I do so, that? When I when I hear that, that's the only. Well, I mean, I know you got shit ton of money. I'm saying when I heard that because that was in set list, that was the only record that I'm like, okay, this is this tells me who he is. This tells me his age, his level of quality. Right. The other records sound young. Or like they, he, like you, you sound young. Like yeah. like you can like you can go there. Like you some young nigga. Go there with yeah, 22, yeah. 25 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it didn't sound like, oh, this is an old nigga on the record. It didn't sound like that. Those right. Those records sound like, like, oh, oh, you got to be like at least 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I mean? Because right. the lyrical format, how you hit this, sound young, fresh, and vibrant. You know what I mean? Right. That's the record that was like, oh, shit. It's like some hot shit. Like some, you know what I mean? Right, right. Like, you know what I mean? Right. That's that record. Like, oh, right. hot shit. Pop is smart, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, I do got a high level. Right. Because you got to be able to adapt. You got to yeah. be able to adapt, man. But you, you know, you think that came from Phil. Just, yeah. just like you know, what? No, you, you know what it is. I, I I listen to a lot of people talk. Like I just sit back and watch a lot of shit. Like what? What type of shit you watch? People. Okay. It's people. Like I said, I'm an introvert, so I I I just yeah, look at people's you. movements and all that. Yeah. That's why my name is Scan. Yes. I scan everything. I, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what it, that's what it is. I'm looking at it. I'm watching everything. You know, like before I even enter a room, I'm like, okay. Then I walk in. Y'all don't already peeped everything. You know what I'm saying? So I watched a lot of older niggas hate on young niggas for no reason. Why? In, in hip hop? No. Period in life. Why? Like, like, why? Why do you why are you mad? You mad at everything this young dude is saying. Why? You don't even understand. Like, you look at you look at what goes on in our communities, how many kids, how many young men don't even have a dad. How many, you know what I'm saying? You don't even know. You're an older dude. If you know the game, why are you not talking to him instead of like, hey, instead of complaining about the nigga? I heard some bullshit a dude was complaining about young dudes saying bro a lot like all i hear bro 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 i said man and i told him i cut him off i said man that shit sound better than saying nigga right i was just about to say that that shit sound better than saying nigga i was just about to say what you want me to say nigga like like, like what the fuck bro? like he can't do this like, yeah, come on, man. and then we change the leg like man like, you just want to complain so what what what's the problem, man? Like, you know, so I don't know. I'm trying to think of the word right now. I'm trying to think of a word that would supplement the area of like I don't know. I can't think of it. Why? Why? Why even try, right? Why? Why what are you what are you so mad at? What are you mad at? That they tried to come up with it. <laughs> what are you mad at, man? That that is crazy. Well, Where's the challenge at? And you were talking about building a team and having your team. Where's the challenge at in growing your team into the aspect of like what you get today? I mean, they got it. Every what you mean? Um, let me let me say that. When you grow your team, I mean, the fact that you kind of have ups, you have downs, you know, you go through that aspect. From what you did today, what would you say would be the great part of having that team you know, to facilitate it more? Right, to have this continue to happen. What would you what did you learn from today that like okay we can take this but we can keep this continue to move? Subtraction. 
Like everybody think addition. The only thing that needs to be added is money. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody knows what went into this. Nobody knows when it was supposed to start and when it actually started. D put this event on. It's time for him to sit down and make a list of what everything of of everything that went wrong tonight and get rid of it. Subtraction. You got to get rid of shit. Like when you mixing when you mixing a record, right? The first thing you do is you get rid of the bad frequencies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get rid of it. Like mixing the song is damn near like starting a business. You troubleshoot. <laughs> right. Every song is its own. I, I say every record is its own world. Right. Literally, it, it's its own movement. It's its own right. chapter of life. It's right. its own place. You know what yeah. I mean? So that's big. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta be you, able to subtract yeah, all Let's the get rid of the bad things. shit. Oh, you wasn't on your shit. That's how you build a great team. Like, you know, just like you build a football team or a basketball team. Hold up. You see motherfuckers botch a, a, a onside kick. Look. Next year, this is great. You this cost great. us to huh? get out of here. As far as the <laughs> 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 okay, as far as the flow and being able to subtract, right? Subtract those elements that they go crazy, right? What would be the thing that you like? Okay, this one great one. Those things, like, like, yeah, um, you know, so you're just talking about the team, right? right the right, team right. stuff, yeah. So, you know, why I talk about the team so much because the team is everything, the team is everything, right? The team is the reason why we make it from zero to one billion. Okay, now say if you had to cut somebody from the team, what was their job? What was that person's job? The same name that they was, yeah, yeah, to. we got to find somebody that can do that job. Yeah, even better. Now you are a part of the team. It would have worked out if you was to do it because it, it cost us less. We may have to spend some money to hire somebody that can do that. Like, so, um, would you say the price would be worth it? Yeah, it'll be worth it. Yeah, it'll be worth it. Like my team is is consist of a lot of shit because everybody in the circle. It's pretty much an artist, mm. other than D. I had a dude, my boy Chase, he was here. Rap his ass off. He was on the camera. He shoots videos. I got a brother, Shy Clark, monster, probably the best rapper out of the whole circle. You know what he do? He handled business. He even, he even taught himself law. Taught himself law. It's my little brother. He know how to handle finances and all these different things. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, but if you slack and we have a meeting and you're not showing up, we call you, you're not answering and all that shit. You ain't the only motherfucker that can do what you can do, man. And it has nothing to do with family. It has nothing to do. No, it has nothing to do. We got to cut you off. Just business. Yeah, we've That's been doing this shit for too long. We're grown. Like, we, nah, can't keep doing that. Like, you. Would you say there's anybody that's in the scam lane? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I was like, so I need you. Yeah, like, you talking about a rapper. Yeah. A rapper that I feel like, hey, I need you. Uh, yeah, I need to take your spot. Yeah. I was going to say Cole because a lot of people have compared me to Cole. Like, when I first heard J. Cole, so I heard saying, myself. So, oh, okay. So, so that, Cole, that was the thing. But Cole is. I'm such a fan of Cole. No, no, it's no controversy, but it's just like, yeah, right, right. I would say Cole because it's it's similarities when we when when I decide to rap, rap. When I decide to rap, not just make a song. You know what I'm saying? Because I pick. Hold on, you said J Cole make 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 raps. No, J Cole can rap. So you don't think he makes songs? No, I'm just talking about me when I decide to rap, because I'm a, I'm a songwriter. Okay. 
Like I even di- I even do- dove into uh, writing R and B records. Impressed me. Second verse is very lyrical. It's is kind of poetic and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's like. Yeah. What would, you, what, would you, what would be the longevity of seeing that? I don't know. What you talking about? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? In attacking that lane. Going for that. You talking about the cold lane? Right, right. What would I don't be the know. process? Like, what would know, be the like, process? Or I, don't, I don't know what the process would be, man. It, it's, 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 you would have to see my process of making music. Okay, cool. What would be the time? If I was to pursue it, just to go in, what, how how long would it take for me to do that? Yeah. Probably two years. That's good. That's good. If I went all the way in, just 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 like nonstop, because if I'm in my competitive mode, you you all you gonna get is you gonna get. I'm just gonna really take you to every era. So. I was I would get I would get you this. You're absolutely right. But you can do that in no time. Right? And that's a good time. But I will also give you like what you did tonight, that itself. Right? You right. see skin. Now, yes, I mean what you know, talked about you know, the code, how the body mm. I see skin. Right. I see the show, I see his own vibe, I see his own show. Of course I would have liked to see more of the same. Right. I like yeah, it felt like that was that that set was short. Yeah, it felt yeah. like it was short. Yeah, it was short. Yeah, because it, it was like five records. Yeah, or, or maybe. Four. Yeah, at least about seven. But that's cool. That's that's great. Yeah. That's like that's like a real episode. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a fan of Game of Thrones, right? Okay. I was waiting for the queen to die the whole fucking time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like damn. When yeah. they go kill this bitch, because uh, I, 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 I <laughs> that's what kept me coming back for see I a dragon like bite that. her head off. I like it like that. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the fact that the, you know the records were what they were, but I like the fact that you were able to kind of like give a performance that way the crowd would understand hey, this is the level of how it's coming off. This is the level of coming off. Right. This is how I want to present this movie, right? Right. Or whatever. And I'm not trying to put the extra tap on it, you know what I mean? Like, if you are lying to me. But, like, no, for real. When I was watching it, like, oh, okay, if I'm sitting here, like, watching it on like, tour or whatever, would I be able to come back out more and more and more, right? And I was the actress. Hey, and what's, what's crazy about all that is that that was like the elementary version. I know. That's what I'm saying. Right, like, because that, that, that's what I you, was, you give I us the lie, time. I, I was a little upset. I was like, what the fuck? Because people don't know. We prepared that in three days. It was a whole nother band that was supposed to be performing mm. with me. I just met this band two two days ago, Thursday. Keep that. Yeah, I just met them Thursday. Is, is, okay. It's Saturday. Okay. <laughs> we, we just met like a few times. I only came in like one day. Just giving me a whole set. Like the second. That was our first time meeting. Right. It was our first time meeting. I'm talking about the, me and that band. Right. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. I met you the other time we was here. Yeah, the other yeah. Time. but that was my first time working with them. Was that day, this Thursday, this last time. Okay. We had that one rehearsal, then showtime. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, and that's see, but see, they're high level people. Like when you met, like yeah. when you're don't take them a long They don't time. take long. You know what I mean? But if I would have had more time to prepare, if everything oh, would have brought, yeah. if that was the, if that was the band yeah. from the jump, oh, yeah. if that was the band from the jump, it would have been because that that song impressed me. You got to hear the actual record. That that's that hook is singing. There's harmonies in that hook, and you know what I'm saying? It's it's different. Okay. Is is uh. Do you have that future project coming out? 
No, I released that. Like, that was, I went on a little tear like a year and a half ago. I released a, a record every week for four straight months. Yeah. So, but that, that's not on, that's not on there. I got an album too that's, that's going to come called Relations and Relationships. So, so before we head out of here, what's what's next for you? What's the big move? What's the what people can be ready for? Arrogant, the arrogant project. It's gonna, I'm gonna release it at first exclusively on my website. That's gonna be the only place you can get it. I put a record out. I'm gonna put two records out. That's gonna be on all the platforms. I already put one out. That's called Every Day. You know, that's just some regular like club party shit. But arrogant is a cold project. And, and that's releasing when? That's going to release. I haven't even thought of a release date. It's going to release soon, though. I'll put it all out. I'll put it all out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it all out. Because I was, I've been going back and forth. To, you know, see if I'm gonna release it everywhere. Or I'm gonna release it um on just my website. And I just thought of that. Just release it exclusively on my website. I thought of that part like a week ago. Man, not to change the subject, but we gotta get you on uh one of the tribe mics. You know what I mean? Definitely gotta get you on one of the tribe mics. I think they'd rather, they'd rather have you on there. Yeah. Also, I, I definitely want to keep breaking that record down because I think that'll be a great topic. Oh yeah, yeah, we can break you that record I mean? down. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, because on this, nights, you know, yeah, I'm cryptic with lyrics, so it's like. Yeah, I think I, I actually need that for you to understand, like, damn, how good I really am with lyrics. I think that's the part. Of, yeah, I'm, I'm with that because I think yeah. that's the part of people really understand yeah. the artists who they are. And I don't think the artists do that a lot. I don't think artists really express themselves a lot of people really get used right. to hearing them. And then when they hear the music, they're like, oh, I can correlate and put that yeah. too, that's how they think. Because sometimes I think I need to, like, break it down. Like, damn, this is what I said. Right. This is what you heard, but this is what I said. Right, and right. it's like, oh, okay, damn. You would say, oh, my God. He um, did that. Did, 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 did. Like, yeah. I mean, that's fine, man. You know what? I'm going I'm, I'm to have to, like, really, really catch more. Like, okay. Like, really, really catch more. I really want to involve you to, like, the network and have you come on to chat with the ladies. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, with it, bro. Chop it up with you. Also, you know, you come on with you. Try to match with the fellas. You know what I mean? You know, chop it up with them. Um, what's you know, I mean, where are you going to uh, in about the next six months? Arrogance going to be released, yeah. Well, Eric, not six months, but yeah, it'll be really sooner than that. I'm yeah. already, I got another EP that I'm dropping. I've already, I'm already four songs in on that one, okay. okay. Yeah, I haven't even titled it yet, okay. So, but yeah, you, um, who are you producing? Yeah, GQ, okay. that's G C U E, and uh. THX okay. Monster. Okay. These do these are these are the producers I work with. And you do all the writing. I do all the writing. And I, I record, I engineer it, I mix it, yeah, I master it, I do all that other stuff. See, I the reason yeah. why I ask that because artists don't do that enough. Right. People don't and you, you only work with a few producers, you work or you work with many producers. I work with a few. Some some have hit me up like um like these dudes are uh, dope boys music. I think some people like, know of them, but they they actually contacted me. So when you going like when you listen to certain producers records, are you going for a particular sound? Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Like what you heard. Like I like musical stuff. Okay. I like I like I want it to sound almost live. Okay. I like instruments. That's great because right. you got some of them they just pick up records. Yeah. Like, oh this sounds dope. I'm gonna fuck with right. this. Oh, this sounds dope. I'm a fucking Like I so, love, I love Rick Ross beat selection. That's the type of shit I like. I love his beat selection. That's a brand. Yeah. That's a brand, nigga. That's like a brand. That's not you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's a certain sound. Yeah. That, that's, that's I want to hear all that shit. I want to hear everything. But the fact that you would get with a few producers, like he always says healthy for artists to get with. Maybe two producers. Yeah. But I like to say one producer. Right. right, right. That one producer kind of cultivate everything else. Right. Yeah, like I actually know these dudes personally. Right. 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 Right.
right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I know these dudes pretty. THX, I've known him since he was 17. Right, right. GQ, I actually met him on a job. Right. You know what so, I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah. So you have, like, even though having, I'm just thinking for the ones that one. Right, right. right. Even though you have, like, two producers, your two producers would be, like, the ones cooking in the slam. You couldn't even bring them in the studio. Like, right. You know, oh, they, they've done it. Like my boy THX brought GQ in the studio to play live guitar, because okay. GQ okay. is a musician. Okay. Okay. The first time we worked on a record, I wrote an R and B record for this artist named Lee Marvin. Have y'all done Have y'all done a project called together where it's just the two producers? No, nah, we like, haven't. No, nah, we haven't. We haven't. That would be a smacker, nigga. <laughs> yeah, we have a smacker. What? Yeah. yeah, we ain't did it. We ain't did it. Yeah. <laughs> call, that, call that shit arrogant, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't did that yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. You understand it. Now that's arrogant. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. And they, they monsters. They monsters. That dude super dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a great idea. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's easy on the copyrights because you know you can't even have fun, you know. Right. Right. You know what I mean. So you, everybody still win. Right, right. You know everybody I mean? wins. People talk about the business a lot too. People like, nah, I don't talk about the business. Nigga, it's my name on the fucking shit. Right. It ain't like you can get a piece of it, bitch. Just, right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, you know, I make this percentage from the record. You make this percentage. Oh, you can really tell your shit. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't getting paid for yeah. me. But they've both been on, you know what I'm saying, on projects I've done, right. they're both right. producing on them. Right. You know what I'm saying? So and this one record the that dope. they're that they're both on the same record. You know, that's the one I said he brought him in to play live guitar on the record. Well, I want to be there <laughs> yeah. when you do the release of Arrogance, and I want to be there when you got I want, no matter of fact, I want to come in the studio and just sit and be like chit chat and document the whole shit with you, both of your cats in the studio. Y'all working on the four song project. Yeah, hell yeah. All let's just let's just the studio. let's just do like a live listening party type joint. I, I shit, what? Maybe you make, hey, do it like this. Let's do another. Let's do another fucking. Uh, let's do another uh, soapbox. That's a listening party though. Like an exclusive soapbox listening party, but a nigga performed the records that nobody ever heard. See, oh, That's about see, to come out. See, look, D right here. This why I say I ain't off the road. Got shit. I wrote that down. Did so you? Oh, damn. What? There it is. What, oh, what I next soapbox? Mm. Like me personally, I want to do the whole relations and relationship album, which is hard drive. Oh, <laughs> nigga, my hard yeah, nigga. It's, it's three hundred records was, on that motherfucker. That hard drive that, on some bullshit. I'm gonna get actually, it. I get it. I'm, I'm getting it. I'm getting it worked on. Though. That's actually on my. Oh, conversation this is what's crazy. Guy, but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do that relationship, relationship. Relations. Wow. <laughs> well, no, I, I, I got to get this on camera. I'm fucking with energy. Yeah, bullshit. Uh, even on the kicks. Uh, relations and relationship. Yeah, relations so and relationship. Wow. Yeah. That's God speaking right there. <laughs> yeah. wow. That's God speaking. I'll show you right now. Uh, yeah. In, in my office. Ain't no other album down. ever made like that. Yeah. Wow. I, I wrote that down. Yeah, the song, the that, album. That, 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 that was actually my yeah. third soapbox. I love that motherfucking record. That that, that that whole album is one long story. It's an eleven song story. Yeah. <laughs> it's an eleven song story. Yeah. I wrote one long ass story, and what's crazy about it is, it's two stories written in one. Because if you listen to it from the front to the end, it's a story. If you listen to it from the end to the beginning, it's a story. You know what's so crazy? Is yeah. that I'm, I, I <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, yeah. so for me, I idolize the cats that can, that can do it. Yeah. Like, they know they work. Yeah. Like, like, and this is only like the immature part. Of me. Like, I'm on the straight line. Like, the immature part of me is like, I have so many records that I can't even, like, 
unless you play them, I'm like, oh yeah, I kn- that was a time when. Yeah, yeah. Right? I was like, oh yeah, what about this album? This? And I'm like, what album was that? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, was the American Baby Two album. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a boom. like. And yeah. I'm I'm amazed by cats. Like I'm like, dude, man, I know cats that got 17 records and they know each and every fucking record. You know what I mean? But the time they was in the studio, they know the producer at the moment. Yeah. They know the, the engineer was in yeah. the I'm like, God, yeah, yeah, it's it, it, it go like that, man. Because when, when you own you, you own it. When you own it, you own it. Because crazy about the the relations and relationship album. I didn't write one word. I sat in front of a microphone. Oh wow. I sat in front of a microphone and I recorded 30 records without a pen. Wow. And I only picked 11 for the album. That's an exclusive, people. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, it's wow. it's just something that I, I I learned. I learned that shit on the bus. And hey, you <laughs> and you been doing this how long? Rapping? Yes, sir. Oh. Uh-huh. Long ass time, shit. I man, I don't even know. So people should be supporting. <laughs> right. Do you have a? I'm not gonna say like your dollar amount. You know what I said. But do you already know the dollar amount of value that you want to make No. You know, let me tell you what I want to do. This is this is how much I don't give a fuck. I just want to take care of my family, doing what I love doing. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but that's for the most part. That's what I want. I want to be. I want to take care of my family, doing what the fuck I love doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. People, there you heard it. That's stand. People yeah. definitely get up out of here. Let you guys go. We have been doing this stream all night for a cool, cool, cool long time for about what, five hours and forty minutes already. But I like to thank you guys for tuning in, the ones that I have, the ones that's going to see this throughout the week, and the ones that's going to see this throughout uh, TikTok and Twitch. All y'all over there, man, really appreciate y'all tuning in throughout the day and uh, liking. You know what? If I'll do this, I'll say this, people. Tonight, Soapbox gave me the opportunity, the first ever opportunity that I had to put the first live broadcast on this entertainment network live, literally. So this is something I will be doing a lot more with Soapbox. I literally support Soapbox. I'm always down with D. Anytime D call me, he's always like, yo, big. Yo, big. Hey, big. <laughs> Yo, big. I'm like, what's good, big homie? Uh, that's my nigga, man. You know what I mean? like, right, right. <laughs> All day. But we're going to do this more often. We're going to have these more often. Matter of fact, I'm going to talk to D about maybe soon a actual podcast. Like, we're going to create something here. You know what I mean? We're going to have people here. Kind of create some like people standing around or whatever, do like a live broadcast, or just kind of make it a pre recorded. Nah, I like live broadcasts, you know what I mean? Pretty dope. Right. Like but people, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Really appreciate y'all. This is the Biz and the Network. That's my subscribe, man. Thank y'all so much. Uh, to the people, y'all tune into West Coast Heavy tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Also, Pastors on Filters tomorrow. And, uh, you know, we're back here on Monday. Gang, gang. Thank y'all for tuning in to the ladies' night. I know ladies' night was lit over there. I was over there. Me, hey, hey, Scan popped in over there too. So if y'all watch ladies night, y'all can see Scan popped in up over there. You know what I mean? Kind of showing his face to the ladies or whatever. The ladies was uh, they was kind of we're like, man, bitch, why not you party with us? I was like, God, y'all ain't at the party. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't it. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, man. We gonna get into you know what I mean. Y'all go ahead and check out more of the content that's throughout the park, uh, throughout the network. And uh, yeah, man, see you next week. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.